Hi, welcome to video five of the Blue Nose build. Uh, I've done quite a bit since the last one, but before we start, please subscribe and hit the bell. Ding, ding. That will keep you informed as to when I upload a new video and keep you up to date with the, the build. So I've taken the, I've got, well, I've got all the frames in now. And I've taken the uh, melamine base off that I had. It's made it a lot lighter. And we don't need that now because it's not going to go anywhere. All the frames are in apart from this piece of the stern here. I've got all the bits cut out, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, and sanded off. So we need to, that's the bit we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. So we have all the bits, as I said, got them all pressed out here and I've done some trimming up on them. The actual piece we're doing is, where is it, that piece there, just on the stern. And these are all the bits for it. Um, there's some that are really very, very fragile. Um, these piece there, I've managed to sand them off and shape them without breaking any, but very surprising. It is very hard, this wood, very, very hard, um, but also it's brittle. Um, but with it being so hard, it is quite strong. So I managed to do that anyway. So there was a bit to sand off on that back edge there. There's two of one size and two slightly smaller. Um, so you can see I've sanded them off in pairs like that. And there was a little bit less. Well, there are a bit, bit more of those. They're a bit more because they've got the sides. And then we've got two more part frames that come up the stern. And those edges are beveled off. I cut those with a knife just to start with, and then sand, finish them off with a sander. Yeah, sandpaper, not a sander. Same with that one, but very little to come off those. And then there's two tiny little pieces, which are these here. And as you can see, they're marked with uh, the burnt lines as to where they need chamfered. So it's from that line to that top corner, and that there, it looks a bit like an optical illusion. A little bit off there, a bit more off there, and a bit off that back edge. And I've done one. So that one is trimmed off there, it's trimmed off there, trimmed off there, and there. And that's hardly worth bothering with. That'll get sanded when we come to it. You can see that it's shaped. So I've just got this other one to do. And I also treated myself to a set of uh, scal uh, scalpel handle and blades. I don't know if I said that near the, the previous one. So with this, you've just got to be very, very careful. And just take the edges off without taking your fingers off. I mean, this is a razor sharp blade, so you can see how tough this wood is. Don't look in the camera. Finish that top edge off on the sandpaper. Yeah, 
you know, cringing, expecting my thumb to disappear. It's not going to happen. Just going to make sure you get the angle right. It's from the, it's from the scored line to the back edge there. And then the two tricky little bits. That is pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to get any more than that, really. Okay, so I've got all the pieces. Now we just need to put them in. So, I don't know, I'm going to show you this best way. And I'll need paintbrush and glue for this. So I have tried these in because I had to open these slots out a little bit. Well, these I did anyway, these two, just to make it fit. Now I'm just going to make sure I get the slope in the right place and get that against that back edge there. So that wants to be that way around. In fact, I think it might be as well putting those other pieces in first. No, put this one in. I'm going to make sure it goes right down and sit square yeah. and then I'm going to go for these pieces so there's two longer ones that go in the middle I think yep yeah. Yeah, just slightly longer. Yep. Make sure I get those the right way as well. So that's tapered that way. So that's this side. I need that glued as well. to go in first before that and take that out. It's like an all at once thing really. I don't think it shows on the camera because it's pretty good with the light, but I am actually losing light here. <laughs> it's getting quite a big black cloud come over. And then make sure I get these tapered the right way. Right, then when I put this piece back in, it should uh, pull them into where they want to be. Well, this one and the next one, if I can see to do it, I really am struggling here. Thank you. 
I made the stand up as well, but it's not that good. Those two in, that's in, and I think that's in. But that's not. Oh, they are. No, oh, that's not far off. They're all in, so when I put the next one in, the last bit, it should pull them into line. Leave those little bits to last. Now we've just got to try and get this in. I think I'm just going to have a play around with it, put some when it gets a bit lighter, um, just to make sure it's all lined up. But I think that's uh, that's found all the slots anyway. I'm just going to make sure everything's vertical. So then we'll come back and do the next bit. Okay, so finally I got some light, and I managed to finish the transom area. Those little bits went on the side there. I just glued those on this morning. These are all nice and level now. So that area is finished. And now we have to concentrate on the bow. So this had me a little bit confused. Um, because... Where's the previous sheet? There we are. I couldn't understand on the plan here, if you can see that. It shows like five pieces and I couldn't understand and it staggered off at a three, three millimeter offset and there's only five pieces. Um, that's what I saw on the, on the plan up there. And then I've seen the photograph here, which shows, because I've got all these pieces. Um, but it shows that they're in twos. So here, they're doubled up, they're in twos. So we've just got those to double up. So I've got all these to glue together. And then, once they're done, then we'll glue them on top of each other. I've made up two boards here and put a little three millimeter offset. So I can use those as templates. And that's the next part. So I'll just glue all these together and then we'll, we'll set them onto here. Right, so now they've set. The next stage is to, I hope they've set enough, is to shape them like this. So it's going to take quite a bit of doing. I'm not show you it all, then they've got to fit in the the bow section like this, more long drawn out work with this hardwood. So we'll give it a go, get started. Right, it's going to take a long while. So 
I'll do some of this and come back. Right, so I got one done. You can see there's an awful lot of sanding. Getting all that off. It's like nearly half the size of what it was. I just started on the other one, getting the back squared off. So that then... up that will fit on there like that got the other one to do for the other side and at least today I've got some daylight so we'll just do a bit more of this sanding all this off it does take a long time so we'll cut the video again and come back when I've got uh, got it sanded off, and then we can get them uh, get these on, and that'll be the end of this video, I would think. So sand away. Um, for those of you that are watching the Mayflower build, I'm going to try and get that finished. I'm going to do a separate little video when it comes to um, finishing that off on how to make some uh, rope hanks um, for the detail work where you've got it coming down to the um, belaying pins and just cut off. They really need a, a hank of rope hanging on them. So I'm going to show you how to make a, a jig for that. Um, so that'll be coming up. So if you want to see that and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel now and then you'll be notified when that comes in. Anyway, carry on with sanding. Right, so that's got those done. Uh, they are pretty much a mirror image of each other. So a little bit of black left on that one, but it's uh, seems to be thinner for some reason. It'd be all right anyway. It's a bit of uh, fairing in to do um, towards the end. So right, so these need to be stuck on here, the right way up. So that's that side, and that is that side. So. That looks about right there. We've just got to line it up with the marks that were transferred through onto the ribs. Just there. So that's spot on there. So we'll glue those. Just check that one again. That's the same as the mark down there. Yeah, that lines up okay. Just maybe a little bit off that top edge. Plenty on here. Have to make sure these are stuck solid. So that's on that edge. And uh, I'm trying to get it the right way. Right, that's that edge and that edge.
Make sure we get them right way around. That's that way. Whoops. They always land butter side down, don't they? Still plenty on. Bit more in that corner. I'll do. Right, I've got to line it up. Yeah, quite a bit to fire off there. Okay. I have to drop this one. Plop. Line it up with our mark down there. It's pretty well fed off that one. Just a bit more on this side to do. We can get that, that's okay. Just wanted to get them on. So that's the bow done. Bit of glue to clean off. And we've got the stern done. Or the transom. Where the transom goes anyway. That's it for this week. So we'll catch you next week. I'm not sure I'll get the uh, video done for making the hanks. I'll try to, but uh, we'll see how we go. Um, that's it. See you next week. Bye for now.